everyone welcome back to my channel I know the last video got a little long if there was anything that I didn't touch on feel free to let me know in this comment section or the comment section of the previous video which I will link above and uh, let me know and I will be happy to answer any questions now let's get started that my son chooses the Acure Acne Spot Treatment. This is not a brand that I am purchasing anymore. These are things that we had and they're no longer gluten free. So they've changed their formula and now sold in um, box stores, I'm just going to say, big box stores. And so yeah, they um, I kind of lost my business once that happened because I noticed before they um, took the gluten free off, I was having issues with their products. And so I knew that they had started changing their formulas and it wasn't being a good product for me anymore. So um, yeah, no more cure in our house. And, uh, we are actually using Root Pretty. They have a peppermint mud mask and that is what we're using for spot treatment right now. And that works out really well for us. And so it doesn't have any of the harsh chemicals. Not that I think this did. Uh, I believe this is turned. This is the 100% pure, um, which was this? This is the Maracuja Oil Mascara, the volumizing. I think this was supposed to smell like berries. I don't like the way this smells. Yeah, this is one that I'm going to be letting go. Um, let's see, I've got some samples here. Fit Glow, I did a video of these. Uh, F1 and F.1, or f 1.5 just not my color i could not find a, a good match in this brand and i weren't working out for me too many gray hairs going on but within the last 10 months i did dye my hair you guys madison reed is the only hair color that i use if my salon is not doing it um i think i did it oh at the beginning um i'm trying to think it must have been back in december that i did my hair doing more of the minimalistic trying to embrace what's going on naturally but a lot of gray going on now but uh did use one of those uh the exfoliate this was uh by red apple lipstick it's a stick that you use it has little exfoliation beads in it there's a little bit left in here but uh rub this on your lips it gets rid of all the uh chapped lip flakies uh, especially during the holidays when you want to wear those bold colors you need really smooth lips to do that highly recommend picking up uh, one of these I do have one of these right now all ready to go for winter so come holidays I'll have really smooth lips but yes definitely get one of those and you think well why can't I just use uh, coconut oil and sugar you can but this really has emollient factors in it and really does moisturize the lips and I for whatever reason their combination of the exfoliating beads in here just really does a fantastic job I would recommend one of these at least have one for the season red apple makes more than just lipsticks so they also had blushes in good vibes and tango and in this journey that I've had I'm really trying to use the things that I have or if I don't like them pass them on there will be some declutter videos because I have gone through a lot of makeup that is not empty but I just wanted to get rid of so I either use it or give it away or figure out some other way to repurpose it I tried to take this blush which was both of these were extremely orange for me uh, make them into a cream blush try to do it during the summer it didn't work so now I'm just going to throw it out but the good vibes and the tangle you guys can see how orange that was just was not a good color for me <laughs> lash project mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras because uh, this one is a little more pricey but this one actually makes your lashes grow um, this is a lash conditioning mascara when I first went gluten-free I discovered red apple lipstick let's see I went 2013 I discovered them I think November 2013 and my lashes had gotten so small so brittle it just was not pretty and I started using this and my lashes started to grow they looked fuller they were healthier and this is one of the products that I say that I wished I had taken it before and an after picture because I didn't know how sorry I'm watching my puppy she's chewing on her bone um, did not know how well this product worked until you start to see months later like it was like two or three months later the benefits that it had so I actually have this this is one of those go-to things that I use quite often I'd say the root and this one are my two favorite mascaras highly recommend them love them have them back up repurchase yes let's get into some root pretty products those are products that I am trying out now but from last November until now so it has been a year I have been buying root products where I have fallen in love with this brand it is a small owned women's business Krista um, started the business in her kitchen 
uh, created, it now has a store, sells online, fastest shipping I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. It's like you place an order and it ships out that day or the next day, but very rarely the next day. It's like within, you know, half an hour, your products are on their way. So absolutely love that. So I did test out some samples before I bought big ones. And so the Pretty Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner, this was their trial size. I picked up these, really love them. Actually bought another set, it's the shampoo. So I tried the trial size. I picked up a 10 ounce. I have another 10 ounce that's in my shower right now. And so, yeah, I have... <laughs> I've kind of redesigned my room. I have all my makeup over here now, but I have to kind of root through the drawer to find it. But yes, this product was so good that I went ahead and got uh, full sizes of them and then a backup. That's how good they are. So gluten-free, vegan, cruelty-free. The products or the ingredients that are in them are just really great products. R&R &R makeup remover. This is vegan, gluten-free, uh, phthalate-free. This was a trial size. Pick this up in a full size as well. Some of their trial sizes, they uh, were in plastic. They're going into glass. Now the full size is in glass. I love the scent of this. I want a perfume and I, will <laughs> I actually wear this as a fragrance sometimes because it smells. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I wish they would come up with more things in this scent. Helichrysum. Uh, bergamot essential oil, grapefruit essential oil, really great ingredients. Love, love, love that. I love that they're repackaging things in glass. Love how it takes off makeup and moisturizes at the same time. This is the sugar scrub. This is the peppermint coconut. This was the sample. This smelled absolutely wonderful. There's a little bit left in here. I don't know if you guys can see uh, the scrub that's right here. I will say they do recommend this um, for the face, but it was, the granules are really large for the face and I really didn't like it, it was too uh, it, it kind of hurt too exfoliating for my face perfect for body uh, the scent was great love the peppermint very invigorating it says face lips and body I would use it on my body I wouldn't use this on my face or my lips I just it's too abrasive for that you can order samples and I picked up their uh, pretty booster in light really love this color it's more of a yellow tint really well. I have more of a golden undertone to my skin now. For some reason, it changes. I've had pink undertones. I've had golden undertones. I got matched with Root Pretty as golden and absolutely their match is the most perfect shade I've ever had. It just is fabulous. I did pick up a full size of this and uh, I also have light medium. Now I wanted to get the clear. I don't really like primers, but I like to be able to mix powdered foundation. Uh, Pretty Booster does is actually a cream but they do have their mineral shades which I love because unlike bare minerals back in the day pretty or uh, root pretty does not irritate my skin whereas in the bare minerals face would start itching like 15 minutes after and obviously uh, I know they're not gluten-free now uh, made without gluten and gluten-free are two different things in my book and my sensitivity uh, levels pomegranate organic cream cleanser by root pretty it is non-drying stocking up since last November so yes definitely recommend that is their peppermint mud mask this is one that I originally picked up for my son who was experiencing teeth acne his acne has gotten so much better in the year that we've been using this this is one of the things that we use as a spot treatment as a mud mask I have four of these in backup right now they were plastic they have switched to glass jars really recommend this product this is pretty much dried out and used Oh, it just smells fabulous. Love this product. Pick it up. It is amazing. It's a beauty sleep. This is their uh, oil that has grapeseed oil, argon kernel oil, sunflower oil, and some of it's just worn off. Helichrysum, grapefruit, peel oil, bergamot oil. Love this. Had this have three in backups. Why I love Root Pretty Foundation, their mineral powder foundation, is because it is so versatile. So I can use it as a powder. I can add for the Root Pretty Booster that I showed you guys a sample of to make a full coverage foundation. I can use the powdered foundation with this. So I'll tap out a little bit of the powder, add a little bit of this. I create my own serum foundation, which I really liked in the summer. It's great now that we've started to get into the colder months and my skin's starting to dry out for moisturization. Love it that way. 
and it's for a fraction of the price. So I will definitely get into more ways that you can use that once I start talking about those in my videos. But yes, love this product. This makes a great cuticle oil. Love the scent of this. It's just fabulous. And glass, glass packaging. Love that. Um, here's another one that I use. So I use one, bought another one. I've got three in backup. So that tells you how much I like it. Okay, let's break this down. I thought let you guys know what I'm wearing on my face. Uh, I am wearing the darkest color that I have in the shade G4. G golden is the shade. I go anywhere between two and four based on the season. Once I found my shade range, there's cool, warm, golden, and neutral. Once I found that range, uh, I really tested it out between last November and this November how the colors worked, how versatile they were. Um, G4 is the shade I'm wearing now. G2 is very light. And so do, when I started out last year in November, I originally got G3 and uh, at 3.5 they also have that. Uh, those are the two colors I started off with samples and um, I don't get out that much so let's just say <laughs> there's not a lot of sun. I mentioned that. That's why I've had some <laughs> issues that I touched on and so uh, I, G2 at the at the point that I had the least amount of sun contact was the right shade. I also noticed that when I added liquid, any type of liquid, either water or an oil uh, to make a cream foundation, that I needed a darker shade because it tended to go lighter. So G3 and G2 uh, 3.5 during the winter when I was the lightest, if I mix those with an uh, an oil or water became a G2 for some reason and they didn't oxidize so they didn't get darker once they dried down so I the formula is just fantastic and so versatile with things that you can do with it like uh, to make a serum foundation when I mixed in the the pretty uh, oil it worked out really well if I wanted a lighter coverage and just a touch of foundation I love that it works Versatile throughout the year. I can create whatever formula of foundation I want without paying a lot. Um, on my eyes, I am wearing their mascara. This is a fabulous mascara. Makes baby doll lashes. Hey, I bend the wand just a little bit when I first get it. It just helps to um, go on my eyelashes a little bit more. I'm 47, so my lashes tend to droop just a little bit. And so I love this formula. I actually have this one and I have a backup. That's how much I love it. I do have quite a few of their blushes. I'm wearing this shade in My Girl on my cheeks. I'm also wearing this on my eyes. I'm trying to use all my empties and any products I get now, I'm like, I want to know multiple ways that I can use this. A lot of their blushes are called blushing bronzers. They're actually bronzers as well. And so what happens with these, you put them on as a blush, the more that you uh, work them into your warmth of the, you know, your skin, they become a deeper color. So they're almost like a bronze. So you can also use them on your eyes as shadows. And so that's what I did here. So in the crease, it's a little bit darker with using uh, the My Girl. Very, very versatile. But I needed a lighter color um, just to brighten up the eyes a little bit from the Boho uh, palette that Zuzu Lux has. This is in the color Free Spirits. And and then the lip colors that I'm using is a combination. I have some of the samples of uh, Red Apple Lipstick. This is my favorite brand of lipstick. There is hands down no other way to say that besides I love them. They have different formulas. They have created a new formula in their last collection, their Kissability collection. Uh, I'll link that above uh, several colors. And they also did a re-release of one of their previous colors. The uh, Red 101 became Red Apple red and so that is oh my gosh you guys go see that that is like my signature red whoo that is beautiful they have several colors that were just not anything like what they created before they have a lilac color that i was absolutely dying to have because there was a bite beauty color that i got rid of um, the formula was just not that great for me anymore it had passed expiration i need to get rid of it but i couldn't find a color that was gluten-free oh gosh red apple recreated that color and it was so close i didn't actually was not able to do a swatch side by side to compare those but it was close from what i remembered and it's exactly what i want this is a combination of oh guava and love my kiss and i can link this compact this is a fabulous compact i love putting in um the compacts you can buy the samples um that one is drama so i didn't know if i wanted that in a, a full-size bullet so i got a sample of that that pop them in a palette like this i also will take my bullets 
during the cold and winter months, I want to keep my self safe from colds or flu. This is how I do. A, um, I also keep this in my purse. So this is on the go. So I don't have to take like four or five bullets and then have to fear about losing it, um, you know, somewhere <laughs> along the way, falling out of my purse. This is just fantastic for putting those little samples in. So I'll take the bullet and I'll just, that's what I did here, smear it on the side, scraped it off. And now I have on the go. I can use this as blush if I want to pop that on as a cream blush. I really like to do that. Versatile. I look for products that you can use multiple ways. A lot of their formulas are Instacolor, which means they're staining. They will stay. You put those on your lips or your cheeks and they're going to stay, which is fabulous. So, that is everything I'm wearing on my face. I hope you're all having a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take care. Mm -hmm.